Thank you. <clears throat> Our second speaker this morning. Um, so I'm, I'm a visual filmmaker. Language is my second language. I'm about to try to pronounce his name. Sandro Perinelli. Close, close, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, last night while riding back from dinner on the bus, sitting near Andrea and thinking about this, wanting to have books from all the authors, I suddenly discovered that Andrea had Sandro's books. And this is his book on landscape and cultural design. And his architectural drawings fill this book, fill this book. And one of the things I immediately noted as I was scanning is that by converting these historical spots and these historical ideas into drawings, that they had completely removed the modern sense of culture around them and placed them in their own time. And I thought that was really wonderful. And it's in it, by using line drawings rather than by taking photographs or reinterpretations, this interpretation suddenly allowed me to be in the places and the spaces in the times when it happened. And with that as an introduction, I'd appreciate it. Sandra, please. Okay, so good morning, everybody. Thank you, Chair. Thank you to the organizer for the invitation to this conference. So I'm an architect, and I will talk about drawing of architecture. That is what I teach. Um, drawing for an architect is the instrument for reach the knowledge and for understand the context, the environment. Thanks to the drawing, we can read. Because hmm? uh, drawing is a system not for reading, but for read most of all, from the environment, a lot of information that pass through our mind, and then we write in simple lines or much more complex color information, what for us is relevant. So uh, it's a, a process of synthesis that is very important, because in general, the, uh, the real system, so the reality, is too much complex for be uh, analyzed at all. And as an architect, uh, when we have to uh, understand and study a system that's from town to monument, the archaeological system, every, everything, there is too much complexity. And the problem is to how to reach the, uh, um, a system for just evaluate what we need and discard <laughs> what we don't know or what we don't need. So in the, no? Oh, OK. This first. Sorry. So, in the general of our research in architecture, it's important to define requirement, goal, and expecting results just for create a theoretical uh, structure of uh, what will be the survey in our, in our case in the investigation process. And that goes, uh, uh, same of other research, uh, also in drawing it's important, the idea, so which is the, the, the thesis we want to demonstrate, and the, the documentation uh, moment, so where we collect all the data. Um, of course, the most that we are we're talking today will be uh, relating to the visual communication. But all the data that we uh, are that are important for the investigation, and then the methodologies. This is the system for extract the metadata that we was listening yesterday. So, the uh, way to uh, relate together the different uh, information and then the synthesis that exactly is the drawing, so a critical representation, uh, the, the auxiliary structure that already represent uh, the real system in what uh, we need. So from the whole information, we have a filter that pass through our mind from the knowledge we acquire in data that we storage in our hard disk and then we can uh, uh, call when we need uh, through the fantasy, invention, creativeness, and then through the imagination, we idealize uh, uh, an image that is the uh, ideal model of the world. So a sort of platonic uh, point of view, where we have uh, 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 for each one we can think just an image that uh, depends of our experience that we have um, done. So uh, an image through uh, we can compare the real and what we know. So 
it's important to find the relation between the man and also what is our surrounding and understand the element that compose the space, but most the relation between each element and that for um, our means to the survey of architectures or, or to make a drawing that is not just a normal representation, but something that is really uh, reliability on, uh, on the regarding measuring, proportion, and so on. So that's the idea of the ideal model and the landscape and that uh, we acquire and uh, the different kind of filter that we um, have to, for uh, the end, uh, uh, understand the image filter are very common. If we, I read something in Chinese, of course, I cannot understand what is written because a cultural filter different depending from our uh, uh, knowledge. And that's why we can, uh, in the process of drawing simple, there is this two step, recognize the uh, the elements, uh, in this case, this simple chair. No, that it's not a chair, just lines, but we can understand that's a chair and then complete the drawing. So the first part depends by knowledge, the second depends on skill. By the way, we have to understand in the process hmm, uh, that, uh, and the tools that we have. Tools, I mean, the simple instrument, the, the sense that we have, or uh, the improper instrument. So from, from the pencil to the computer, and all the, prons, the processes that are enacted in the moment that we made a survey. So our relation with context, our, I mean, the surveyor, and then the society or, or who lives the, the place. But for sure, to uh, understand this complexity and to have a, a simple point of view, we will need to create different environmental level. That's a, a procedure for uh, rich, a detail or a much uh, simple element related to the context. So the uh, dividing the complexity in different level of analysis and for each level understand which relation we will study at the an horizontal relation. So for elements at the same level and vertical relation uh, elements uh, um, that are supposed in the different step of this sort of chairs. And making some, uh, something like this, we will define a structure. Uh, and uh, we, um, we can imagine a structure for all the elements that compose uh, an image, uh, a condition, a space, something. So and this uh, uh, place will be um, analyzed uh, through qualities that regarding space and characters, uh, most of all space. Uh, as a three-dimensional geometry, so the uh, morphological, geometrical aspect. It's very simple to imagine this now, thanks to the 3D modeling system, right? but also space as a field of perception. So there are limits, there are no limits. So um, especially if we uh, think not only in the uh, image, but also in uh, other kind of information, but also in image. So we, uh, the object don't finish uh, where finished materially, but where we uh, can to understand his presence. So, and also a character that is the most important aspect of, or qualities that the, you know, the general atmosphere of a, of a place and depends by how the building or land are, uh, are. So the, the bricks, uh, um, technologies and so on. That's some picture regarding multiple channels, a small town in the middle of Italy. So uh, that for sure is not Singapore, and it's not Singapore for a lot of reason. But these reasons uh, are uh, colors, uh, sky, uh, so a lot of uh, uh, qualities that depend from the morphological context of the environment and of the building, and for a lot of other information regarding character and so on. So, but also the, what the Norbert Schulz the, um, tells stabilitas logi. So the place change in time also if there are, if it seems that cannot never change, a town change, this picture regarding Florence uh, after 50 years, I know very well because he's my uncle. 
so uh, the the ladies in the in the picture, and we can see that the towns change, change the tree, change the nature, change the uh, urban environment, all the secondary element, not not most the building as a, the image of the building, but all is surrounded cars. Uh, here we have an horse with a and, and, uh, and our bus and everything, but uh, the place change. So uh, the time it's very important uh, and uh, understanding that uh, also the town in, dif in, in time change a lot. This is always Montepulciano and the main square that in 100 years change completely the image of the structure. Also the town that it seems so oh, is very old, is an historic town for sure, uh, has changed a lot in the, in the town. And, uh, Thanks to the analysis of the aspe uh, this aspect, we define the meaning that it's uh, very important for cre the creation of our structure. So the understanding of the information gives us the possibility to define uh, meaning or not. Of course, if I speak in some in Italian, you will not understand, so I will not say nothing in English, maybe better. And so uh, uh, all what we understand is uh, important for give different kind of meaning at the elements. So there are drawing like that one very realistic and um, that wants to create an illusionistic effect. So have a, uh, an immediate uh, effect so everyone will understand and uh, give um, an idea of beauty probably because uh, everyone understand and it's uh, looking for an, an easy visual excitement, so something like other drawing that uh, are much important for us in this case, where we see not only the drawing but also another actor that is the drawer, that is uh, inside the drawing with his uh, 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 feeling, with his aspect, with the feeling of the of the sign that he drew. So um, this picture regarding. Um, project of research that, that I developed years ago that was uh, to understand how is changing the image of the town of Florence walking from the borderline till the uh, historic center. So step by step, uh, an immersive uh, uh, path inside the town and thanks to the drawing, um, read the, uh, the environment, all the aspects till arrive uh, at the uh, at the historic center and so on. But these uh, simple drawing are already this critical interpretation. So we uh, just see what the drawer, what the surveyor decide to uh, take uh, from the place. So um, another experience very similar, because I will show some different case study is made in uh, Santiago de Cuba, where we uh, work for the design of Plan Maestro, so the general plan of the town. And it was in 2004, uh, or 2005, yeah, 2004, when in Cuba, we were arriving in Cuba, there was not a lot of technology, also now, but especially in 2004, so we decided to study the complexity of an important barrio, the barrio Vista Alegre, through the, uh, the, the drawing. So it was important to um, understand how to redraw a lot of element that was completely different from the element that I was used to draw. So different from the element of Florence, for example, where I, where I was born. So the uh, garden, the buildings, everything. So uh, we had to try to uh, find another sort of language. So as a uh, whole say, we think uh, in um, the according with the language that we spoke. So it is the same for drawing in some way. So we have to rethink uh, and uh, recreate another grammar system for representing this landscape. But, and that this drawing was useful for, uh, and put also some schedule and so on, define a system for a sort of census of analysis of the each house that was comparing this big barrier and at the end, uh, through the comparison of the uh, different elements, uh, not only the drawing at the end, uh, define uh, um, methods for uh, um, give a, a specific layer to uh, each house. So 
to the, this map is not just a map, but is a synthesis of specific characterization, uh, and it's a, a, a drawing that gives us the possibility to make a comparison between each house in the same time. So something that it's, uh, we cannot uh, uh, feel when we arrive in the place and just visit. So from the uh, understanding of the place, the, the drawing, and um, collecting the uh, aspects of regarding meaning of each house at the end, have a comparison for understand how to develop uh, the management of the place. That was the idea, and that's part of the work for the management plan. So let's come back in Italy from to Montepulciano, so the, the, the place that we saw before, that is this, uh, mm, well, quite famous historic center up on a uh, small mountain in the middle of Italy, where also we developed the uh, plan maestro, the, the master plan of the town. Uh, it's uh, another kind completely of, uh, of town. It's in the middle between Florence and Siena. That's why we have Renaissance element and together with uh, some medieval age aspects of, uh, in the image of town. And for uh, manage the complexity of the, of the site, so manage the complexity of the system, the division in uh, environmental levels from the historic center till the sub-area, till the textile unit, uh, till the e building unit, so the, the smaller of the, uh, then, and then the apartments. But when we arrive at the building unit, that was the unit, uh, the, um, the much easy to manage, define all the aspects uh, regarding the uh, architectural system. So structure, degradation, colors, uh, element, decorative, roof, plan, everything. And collect all this information in um, a schedule. Because survey means to understand uh, quantities, measurement, the drawing that regarding the quantities, uh, realizable and everything, but also qualities. So, Chances is very uh, part of the survey activity, and that's uh, the uh, system of chances for the building, but also for the open air uh, related to the building, so garden and so on. And these, uh, uh, we can see like um, 55 descriptor for the building and other similar for open air. And if you think that in the historic center of Montepulciano, there are approximately uh, 860 building, or at the end uh, we have a, a library of uh, information uh, on paper when we was beginning this work, with all aspects on each building. So the, um, also for each building, the survey of the front of the facade with uh, photogrammetric aspects uh, and uh, the redrawing card of each stone of each brick that compose the, the, the facade, and then the idea to put all together this information. So creating a, a 3D model, a system, uh, where all this information was attached. So a uh, GIS system, hmm? uh, where all information, the, the data, the, the, the text, hmm? but also the drawing, was connected directly to the map. So uh, 2D map, but also a 3D one. So these are thematic map that are the same before, uh, give us the possibility to compare in, the, in, in just one second all the 55 descriptor at the, at the building level to the uh, entire uh, space of town. So if you want to understand the quality of roof, uh, each, each voice of the schedule, uh, have the comparison at this level. And then after the, uh, the creation of the, um, of the normal 2 dgs so we, we start to uh, organize the same information on a 3D map. It was 2003 when we designed uh, it. So the same, a 3D model, oh, we see with the dress of the photogrammetric picture, uh, where every front, so every face of the 3D model has different color regarding the qualities of the building and we can 
task at the program. Let me see which uh, front have this information and show. And it's important for who has to manage the town. So it's important for the municipality that uh, in charge has to do. Uh, then uh, the evolution of system let us develop uh, this 3D model also for other aspects as uh, uh, um, the, the virtual uh, development. So creating a, a system for let's move inside uh, the, the historic town and then touch uh, as, as it was a video game or something like that. Uh, but a video game with all the measurement and all the details and all the qualities of the architecture uh, that are re um, real, real, so affidability, once again in English, sorry, real, realable. It's like Parinello, you know, in English when we say these things. <laughs> and so, uh, another small, uh, small town in the, um, close to Montepulciano, the same municipality, the different schedule and the environmental section. And then the, the experimentation to, um, to, co to connect the, the 2D GIS with the 3D GIS information and the system for uh, understanding the, the environment. I, I have a, a small video. Hey. Sorry. Let's. So this is the, the model that. Uh, that's okay. We we go through this. The arrow show that is in real time. You can move inside the historic center, then click on the wall uh, on the front of the house, and then arrive the the the, the, the shelter regarding the front of the of the house. But uh, it's a, an hyper test, so you can uh, link what you want. You can link the the shops. Uh, you can link uh, all the. Uh, the imagination for the development of the historic center. Also, because Italy is full of historic center that in the last year was uh, quite abandoned because it was uncomfortable, of course. Each one wants uh, his uh, small villas outside. So leave the historic center, go outside. Then after a couple of years, um, understand that the historic center is so, so, so important. Uh, is part of the history, so want to come back in the historic center, but unfortunately, the price of the houses in this uh, in this period developed a lot, so it cannot come back. And now these uh, historic centers are empty, hmm? and there are lots of con contenitors without nobody, and there is the problem to let uh, um, leave this historic center. So this is the 3D model, but each bricks. Uh, an uh, element that we see uh, is a reliable cause of it comes from the survey. So it's come from a system of measuring and uh, redraw of each uh, front. Uh, and um, so it's a video game, but uh, oh, correct uh, in field of proportion and information. Hmm? So let's come back to the presentation. Another case study, I want to go from the general till the detail, so not, not, not so much. This is the, uh, a, a monument very, very important, is the Cathedral of Florence that is under restoration from, it, from when uh, it was built. So there is uh, the opera di Santa Maria del Fiore, this is in charge to restore the stone of the facade from when it was built, because it's too big, so when they finish from a side, they have to continue the restoration in the other side. So our work as a laboratory is to give the, to them the, the survey so the, uh, of the church. And it's also it's a, a never-ending story, the same uh, as the restoration activity. So um, for this case, uh, just to introduce the technology of laser scanning that now are ve is very used in the, in the survey of architecture. So this instrument that take uh, millions of the measuring uh, for second and give us this uh, 3D uh, point cloud. So uh, it's a, a topographic instrument that where um, a sort of, you can see it's a, a, like an, a lamp in the night, but uh, what's, uh, it's more light, it's because it's close to the machine that take the measure, the environment, so we have 
exactly the information, million and million of points, thanks to this information, we redraw exactly the uh, architecture uh, and we made also the uh, photogrammetric uh, analysis with picture and so on. So some detail um, of, um, but it's important to see, we can print in scale one by one this kind of drawing and all the geometrical analysis but I, I put these uh, specific uh, aspects on the facade because the main front of the cathedral, it's not old as the rest of the, of the, of the church. It's quite new. It's from the uh, beginning of the 19th century. So, uh, mm, beginning of the 20th century, sorry. Uh, last century. So uh, we made the analysis of the uh, evolution of the main front from the drawing of uh, uh, Arnolfo di Cambio and uh, the uh, reconstruction in uh, 3D model, not, o not also of the historic town, but also of the main front and the possibility to uh, view how it was the, the first main front of the church before it was uh, demolished, dismantling the uh, never-ending front, uh, and uh, also uh, so after this first phase, the, the front was uh, um, covered um, uh, paint. So for the main event of the town, there was painting the the front, uh, and we have some picture that show how it was the the facade. So the redrawing of this. Uh, uh, moment of the history of the of the cathedral also to have video for uh, have the possibility to appreciate this uh, uh, other aspect of the cathedral and the uh, architectural con mm, competition that was done for the design of the main front that um, where there was presented 100 uh, project and the idea was to understand uh, how was uh, the uh, how can be the the, the, the cathedral uh, if was another the project uh, who won the the competition so uh, creating um, the, a sort of virtual museum of the cathedral for the new museum of the cathedral that will open in this year in the main square of Florence and uh, mm, with the 3D model and um, virtual uh, movement inside uh, and a Florence that don't exist, but with uh, uh, other pos possibility of town. So with uh, the, the main front of the other project uh, that was uh, uh, designed by the other architects. So, so also nice. <laughs> Another case study is the Hermitage of Camaldoli, where the Camaldoli's monks came from. And so we can see the uh, specific aspects of the laser scanning survey. So um, also for uh, a context like this one, it is a sort of small village. Uh, we have the, the entire 3D point clouds uh, and thanks to the possibility to cut, uh, it was a sort of cake, all the morphological information of the, uh, of the monument, of the complex, we reached the possibility to draw uh, with very accuracy hmm, each part of the, uh, of the houses of the, of, the monk, uh, of the monks and also the cathedral to create, uh, same as before, the, a 3D model for um, um, because nobody can visit this place, so it's closed. If you are a monk, okay, but if not, you cannot pass and visit the amazing arch architecture that are inside. So we developed this project uh, that is part of a main project regarding all the hermitage of the central Italy, um, with the idea to let uh, the visitor enter virtually in the place where it was where it's not possible, also because especially for ladies in this case, no, can absolutely cannot enter. Uh, so we spend days, lucky as, uh, taking measurement uh, and picture of everything, and at the end uh, we create this system of virtual for uh, have a look 
the, the, um, the place, but also for the, um, uh, not only knowledge, not only documentation, but also restoration and so on, the uh, survey of the inside of the main church of Camaldoli that is very rich of decoration, and so give uh, lots of problem in field of drawing, archi architectural drawing, to how redraw all these elements uh, that we can see, it's very complex. So, thanks to these uh, technologies uh, and the idea to, to redraw till each deformation, till each detail, not just as a typological understanding of the building, but uh, with all the deformation that characterize the, the building, that, that's the important, uh, we um, have developed uh, this kind of normal AutoCAD drawing uh, that we see. Um, some with um, the plans and section with also photogrammetic view, the, the ceiling of the, of the church in uh, orthogonal projection from down till up, and then all the section of the building. And we use the same information data to create directly the 3D modeling, the, the um, meshing of the pine clothes. So for with three points, we pass a surface, and we uh, can build uh, the 3D model with very accuracy with all the elements, this is a De La Robbia, hmm, that are present, also the most complex, uh, uh, like that one that we see here, for example. But So it's a problem of accuracy and the problem to create a 3D model also for a very complex system of uh, uh, space, not for the dimension, but for the uh, lots of information that uh, morphologically are present in this church, and then also color and, and light and so on. Another case study, quite nice, is a bathhouse house in the middle of Tuscany, famous, it's a um, candidate to be a UNESCO um, site, and it's a Terme Il Tettuccio in Monte Catini. It's a Monte Catini in the bathhouse house, the Tettuccio. It was uh, uh, under restoration, and, um, and also in this case, it was called for, um, from the enterprise that was in charge to restore, to uh, make the survey. It was the, for um, let them be sure that the survey was good and they can uh, make the calculation of the money and so on for the restoration of this uh, small cupola and this part of, the, of this amazing building. So, uh, in, why I put this, uh, this example? Because um, at the same uh, that, we, uh, that I showed for the um, town, so the idea to collect in data for the, uh, for the town, we create the same for this building. So we create a, an interactive 3D model where you can touch each element and uh, uh, link all the information. Uh, with the idea not, not just to create a GIS on the building, and it's, we, we, we have done, but to create uh, a book for the restoration activity. So the, the restorator every day goes in the place and write all the operation that he done on the building. So the libretto di cantiere, the book of the, uh, of the work. So this book on the work is completely digital and have the form of the of the same building, so uh, he can arrive uh, in the place and check what I have to do today according with the plan. And uh, the 3D model uh, turned on the columns, the elements that are interested by the specific activity of restoration. So we work a lot for defining a schedule with all the information that uh, regarding the uh, restoration activity. And then all this data was put uh, in as a layers, uh, the, uh, the environmental layers, but in this case on the building, uh, connected to the archi virtual architecture, and then the interaction between who um, used the program uh, is completely dedicated 
to the uh, restoration process. So not only knowledge, uh, but the knowledge of the restoration process, so for the memory of what's happened to the building. And uh, as the same that, that for, um, for the town, we can have thematic map that regarding each element, thematic map also not only about the architecture, but about the work that they are done on the architecture, so something different. Another case study, in this case a, a UNESCO site, uh, we are in uh, Russia, north part of Russia, especially in the Republic of Karelia, attached to Finland, um, where it's famous for the wooden architecture, and I'm coordinating an European project uh, for the uh, investigation on this wooden architecture. The most famous building there is the Church of Transfiguration uh, in the Kiji, uh, museum, so in the Kiji Island, is exactly this church, famous with all the cupola. Eh? And uh, uh, the, the church had a lot of problem, uh, uh, like uh, from, the, from the 60. So it start, uh, is in wood, uh, it's from the uh, 300 years, so it start to have problem of collapse because uh, of the instability of the wood. And it was uh, uh, in the Soviet Union, they put inside this iron structure that, uh, for uh, help the, the, um, the building to don't, don't fall down. And it starts a long discussion to how restore and uh, how to understanding the, um, the restoration of the church. So when we enter in this discussion, the project of restoration was already decided, well, fortunately, and it's uh, also not bad. So the idea is to put up the church uh, with pistons, so let, let the church fly, um, restore the basement, then put down, and then put up, and then put down. So from, from the down part, uh, start the restoration. And um, Well, in this case, I'm, um, I'm so unlucky because I'm in Italian, and for me, restoration is a specific activity where we uh, uh, don't change the image, so um, don't change the, mm, uh, the text or don't, don't change the, the old aspect. So if you restore something and at the end it seems new, well, for us it's not a restoration, okay? It's something uh, that causes lo lose a lot of the value. So there is the feeling that it's uh, old and has a lot of history. So. And why we convince them to create uh, this uh, survey? Because um, the complexity of this building, as we can see from, this, uh, uh, from the point clothes, it's amazing. So it's an unbelievable uh, mountain of wood, so with uh, a lot of pieces. So thanks to the new technology, in this case, we can have the, uh, the survey where we can see the contribution of is each piece of wood in the structure system. So all the plant, uh, at the, all the level of the inside structure, of course, where we can see exactly each piece of wood designed in CAD and then with pitch. So it's a quite huge work made for everything. And then the, um, the frontal um, the section of the building. Uh, when it was uh, open, uh, you have to understand that the, the church was just till this level. Then all the upper part, uh, it was only the structure for the exterior decoration. Hmm? Uh, it's uh, a castle of uh, wooden element, uh, but uh, it's uh, just one main room divided uh, by the iconostasy as uh, the way of orthodox and uh, confession, but uh, is the um, uh, summer church of the complex of this Pogos that is made by the summer church, the winter church, and the bell tower. So this is part of the summer, church. and that's the uh, detail of the uh, of the section. I have also for this one um, parts of um, of a video where we can see the uh, pine clouds. What's up? Uh, elaboration. So that's the the 3D uh, point cloud. So all the points uh, acquired by this uh, topographic uh, survey, and uh, um, it's 
easy to understand why this instrument in this case is useful because it gives us the possibility to have with an accuracy of millimeter two, hmm, the uh, exactly position and dimension of each piece of wood for understanding the contribution also in the static structure and so on. So let's go back. So all the drawing was made for this, uh, uh, for this idea to, at the end, connect the information of each piece of wood to a drawing which, where we can see, of course, the relation. So uh, character and sp in space, so the qualities and the quantities uh, according together in a same drawing that is uh, a 2D drawing for, for the reason of to understand some point, but also a 3D modeling. And we use different techniques, of course, of the complexity for at the end, rebuilt as it was a, a game, uh, each piece of this, uh, uh, of this um, well, I want to say a church, okay, church in, uh, in wood. Mm, then the history of the restoration of the church uh, is so sad because, uh, <laughs> and, and I don't want to, to tell how it goes, because of course uh, the complexity of the drawing and the complexity of the church, um, it's too high according with the restoration and understanding of the, uh, of the restoration process. So now we have a reconstruction of the church. So another case study is um, this um, gardens. So just for understand the idea to reach the detail and the, uh, not the typological uh, expression, but all specific understanding of the morphological condition of environment. Nothing is much complex than the tree, uh, the nature. So this system for uh, an, uh, analyze and understanding historic garden in this case, and uh, used for manage the green in town. So some picture that show the possibility to investigate also the tree, the form, the, the dimension, the structure also. And it was developed together with the um, urban forestry uh, faculty in, um, in Italy, this, uh, this project. And for uh, the exactly understanding and to create an interactive GIS system uh, also for the trees, so for, for the garden, for the nature. So we see a uh, uh, main road with, um, and I think it's very important for the manage of the town, especially here, for example, where the town is, uh, has a lot of green, also, also the green area are, are very important. So the manage of the green is an aspect, of course, the nature I mean, is uh, life, but uh, it's probably important also for a lot of consideration, uh, has a drawing that gives us the possibility to measure and understand all the um, relation in space and so about the uh, garden and the nature and all the trees like this one. The idea then to collect information that are not information same as building, but similar, of course, regarding uh, how the life of the tree, because it's something that lives, of course, uh, uh, goes, uh, was developed because um, um, the, the problem was to create a 3D model that was also Realable on, on each trees. So, um, except for the, uh, a lot, there are lots of programs that give us the possibility to create a 3D model very nice about the, the, the nature and garden and so on. But here the problem is the realable. So, we use direct the, uh, the, the pine clouds to collect all the schedule about three exactly in the, in the pine clouds. And at the end, we have this. Uh, uh, it, um, this uh, 3D point cloud colored is the same thematic map, uh, same as the town, uh, same as the building, but on the garden. So we can understand which are the damage that each uh, tree has uh, or problem in the management of the garden. And that was the first experiment using uh, simple element for the GIS, and that's the other point. So we can walk through the uh, because it's a, a 3D system virtual, but with the color that are thematic that came from the schedule. So at the end, we can have this thematic map on the tree. 
with the FQS. And the last one of the project that I want to show you is um, um, a, a project of another UNESCO site. It's in Maza Mazada in Israel, where from almost two, two years we are working the University of Pavia together with the University of Florence. So the two universities that are involved in the laboratory, that which I'm the scientific coordinator, and the um, Shankar College of Tel Aviv for the survey of the uh, Masada um, archaeological site. So Masada is uh, an amazing place. It is this uh, the upper part of this mountain and before the Dead Sea. So there is the, uh, it's like uh, 15 meters under the level of the sea, but a lot of meter upper the, <laughs> the Dead Sea, so just in the up part of, of a mountain. So um, here we develop system for understanding the complexity of this huge uh, archaeological site. So the uh, importance is to reach the detail of uh, uh, each wall, each stone, but uh, we having the um, reliable or and the accuracy for all the entire site. That it's a mountain, so no, no, not so simple. And uh, that's some picture from the from the three D laser scanning survey and this process of reconstruction of three D modeling using the, uh, the the instrument. So for create a three D model of the um, rocks of the mountain, but also of the architecture and building that are present. Also for the printing. So uh, here we see the mm, just. Now the, the presentation goes, because probably there is some temporization in this part, but the, uh, with the 3D print of uh, a detail, that is also another important aspect. So thanks to this technology that give us the possibility to have in 3D the, um, each pieces of each element, we can also print with 3D printing and recreate uh, important, important detail and everything. So, uh, the idea, of course, is also mm, improve the musealization in, uh, with the virtual system, so and develop other uh, system of survey together for the archaeology. This is uh, a um, photogrammetric uh, survey for, in this case, the column or from the drone of other parts put together with uh, panoramic photos for create. Uh, the uh, 3D model and use the laser scanning as a database for comparing the accuracy of the different system in archaeology. So um, with the shape from motion system, we arrive at this uh, um, mesh 3D model that are um, so nice, of course, because uh, it seems much real than a normal 3D model. But and we have used also this uh, uh, 3D model for make the, the, the other steps, the other paths. So from 3D model, reach the two-dimensional drawing. So cutting the 3D model in different layer, create the elevation uh, map line. So, and then uh, reach the drawing. Uh, that's the result. Uh, using the, from the 3D model to the t 2D model. And then other elaboration section as the same. The creation of 3D model was used uh, for uh, in the augmented reality system to put uh, on the on the side the um, marker and so on. That's the idea. Uh, also, to <laughs> then give the possibility of the tourist to for each element goes there and uh, have a lots of information uh, in um, with uh, his iPad and so on. Dove sta this? So let's check the, the virtual tour of Masada. And now it's 45 minutes, and I, with this <laughs> image of the virtual tour of Masada, I say you thank you. I finished. <laughs>